Governor Mark Dayton has vetoed a bill that would have aligned Minnesota state tax code with federal changes passed last year. The Democratic governor rejected the bill passed by the GOP-controlled legislature with about 20 grade school students standing behind him at a St. Paul school. Dayton said the bill did not include the money for schools he requested and was tilted toward the wealthy and corporations. Uh, I'm vetoing the bill because they have not met the um, condition I set, which is to uh, include the uh, emergency school aid, and also because it's a bill that's skewed toward the uh, Toward the rich, and the, even in the individual, they make a big deal about the individual. A family of four making $65,000 a year is about the median family income. We get $92 a year in tax breaks. A uh, family making $250,000 would get three times that amount. The people making $250,000 a year would get 12 times more tax cut than people making $20,000 a year. They, just, they got it upside down. Let's give tax relief to people who most need it and let the, the rich and the super rich and the big corporations do fine on their own. Our bill actually uh, gave tax relief to uh, low, in, low and middle income Minnesotans uh, in the process of, of tax conformity. Um, so this was as reasonable a bill as you could have found. Um, it actually was a slight increase on taxes for businesses. That's what federal tax conformity did here in Minnesota. It increased taxes on businesses. Um, we left some of those increases in place um, and actually gave the tax relief to low and middle income Minnesotans. So what the governor did today was veto a bill that would have put money in low and middle income Minnesotans pockets. Um, and I, I am incredibly disappointed uh, that the governor has decided to play politics with this bill instead of giving Minnesotans some certainty um, and allowing them uh, to, to file their taxes more easily next year. Minnesota needs to adjust its tax code to account for federal changes that took place last December. Doubt and other lawmakers say that if the governor does not sign a tax conformity bill, filing taxes next April will be extremely complicated for Minnesotans. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.